it gives me a great pleasure to welcome all of you for being here to celebrate with us the 27 glorious years of Department of Assisted Reproduction at Jaslok Hospital and the launch of our new venture, Jaslok Fertile Tree. <laughs> On behalf of Jaslok Management and Board of Trustees, I extend my warm welcome to all the guests here today and our luminaries on the dais who need no introduction. Mr. Amir Khan and Mrs. Kiran Rao, we express our deepest gratitude to you for sparing your fresh, precious time and coming to be a part of our celebration today. Farah is a great friend and has been always supportive to me, Jaslok Hospital and Dr. Parekh and whenever I or Dr. Parekh have requested her to come to be a part of any event, she has either adjusted her dates or she has cancelled where she has to go and she has always been here. So thank you so much, Farah, for being such a great friend. Uh, I didn't really plan what I'm going to be saying and you caught me unawares, but uh, that's okay. Uh, of course, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the team at Just Look and... Um, Dr. Firoza Parikh and Mr. Parikh also for being so supportive uh, to what I wanted to do with my family life a year back. I'm lucky to have met them and uh, they assured me that uh, this was the right age to go ahead for assisted reproduction and to be a single parent the way I wanted to be one. And that few people have done it. Quite a few women have done it. Not many men have done it. But they were very reassuring they encouraged me and they didn't make it look like it was a big deal. Throughout last year, 2015, uh, Dr. Parekh was in touch with me constantly. She used to, after we went through the procedure, she used to give me co constant updates about the, the child to be born and guided me through and through what I needed to do. And then when the baby was born, we discussed a lot about how we're going to bring this child to the world. It's, uh, it's a new, unconventional way that I've chosen. And she was very, very, very encouraging, very, made me feel very confident that uh, I should go all out and tell the world that this is how I've done it and this is going to be the family that I've chosen. My, my own parents were a bit, they were a bit apprehensive whether I, should have, whether, whether I should announce the child to be one born through IVF and surrogacy or not because they were like, uh, you don't know how it's going to be in India, how it's going to be taken in India and why even announce it, you know, why don't you just tell friends and let friends tell more friends and that's how it should spread and that's, that's how, announce mat kar, kyu announce karna, ye wo, ye wo, ye wo. But she, uh, she was the one who encouraged me to uh, make a statement and she said that, you know, it's your right to tell the world, it's nobody else's right and you should be the one to uh, be as honest as possible and gossip really goes down when you're very forthright, when you're clear when you're confident when you tell the world what's what's done and how it's done and the honesty behind it makes things uh, more acceptable so i think she was right of course uh, most mostly she's always been right and in, in fact i think today is the day when we all should in, uh, acknowledge that she's always been right and in my case it was very right because uh, all of you the people here the people in our country the media everybody has been very positive very accepting and that was also a bit, a uh, bit of a surprise for me because I thought there'd be diverse views, there'd be, there'd be some kind of uh, ooh and ahs about it, there'd be all kinds of opinions, and probably a Pandora box would open up, and there'd be all kinds of things coming up. But nothing of that sort happened because I think the country, the, the people, everyone has been very expect accepting. Especially the media has been so supportive of Lakshya and uh, my um, choice of having a family in this manner. So I'm thankful to everyone here, everyone in the country, everyone in the media for being amazing, being, being India as it is and as it really is. Thank you so much. <laughs> would love to, would love to uh, wish uh, the Parikh family and Just Look all the very best for Just Look Fertile Tree. I'm sure it's the right time and it's the... It's the thing that we all should uh, really, really encourage. It's necessary, especially for us North, North Mumbaiites who come all the way here to South Mumbai for these kind of services. Now, I think she, she just told me that it's, uh, it's going to be having, they're going to be centers even in Juhu and Bandra, etc. I think that's going to be, that's, 
that's that's like staying in my head right now thank you so much bye bye thank you so much before anything doctor now you are opening a department in juhu and bandra thanks thank you <laughs> after making me travel twice a day to just look from film city all the way thanks anyway thank you uh, happy independence day and uh, I've come here and I've realized what this is because, frankly, when Dr. Firoza calls and says, if she says I'm having an event on Mount Everest, I'm going to be there. I don't even ask her what it is. So, thanks for enlightening me as to what event I've come for. And uh, Tarang, um, sometimes we forget how uh, qualified uh, the women we move around with is. For me, Tarang is just been Rachit's mom because Rachit is in class with my son. Uh, thank you for inviting me here. Thank you. Uh, I've got my kids here today because they need to know how special they are, how special it is to be part of Dr. Firoza's family. Uh, it's a family that that is truly blessed. She's given us the greatest gift of our lives. I'm going to get very emotional here now. And uh, you know, it's important that we come and we proudly say we've had our children through assisted uh, through IVF or through surrogacy or through donor eggs. It's important we come and we take pride in that because it just gives so much courage and so much uh, hope to people who want to do it but who are scared of doing it. So I proudly say my children are from IVF and no, Anya, the pizza man did not deliver you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Firoza delivered you. So. <laughs> On that note, doctor, I love you. There's not a morning that goes by when I look at my kids and I bless uh, doctor. And Rajesh, I love you even though you're denying that you've dyed your hair and it's natural hair. <laughs> I mean, really now. <laughs> so thank you. He's the epitome of integrity, intelligence, commitment, perfection. He was honored by the government of India with the Padma Shri in 2003 and Padma Bhushan in 2010. Mr. Khan, you are a foremost a humanitarian, a great thinker, and an exemplary human being. The stage is yours. Thank you so much. Wishing all of you a very happy Independence Day. Uh, you know, I'm certainly feeling that this is one thing I'd like to talk about, but not without Kiran. So can you join me, Kiran? On stage, please. We can speak together about this. You know, it's uh, such a joy to have a child in your life. Uh, it's something that really changes your life. I remember my mother used to tell me when I was a kid that when you're a parent, then you will realize what it is to be like a parent. And I used to always wonder, what is she saying? I mean, what, what can be so different? But she was so right. When I had my first child, Junaid, uh, it, was, it just changed me. It just changed my life. And, and there are so many... Uh, parents out there, so many people out there, so many even single parents out there who are unable to have a child. And the fact that Dr. Firoza and Jaslok is able to give this joy to so many people out there is, is really wonderful. I think they've, they've really changed the lives of so many people and I really thank them for that. Yeah, actually I was telling Amir as we were on our way here, I don't know what I did for those I don't know, 20 years before Azad was born. Uh, my life is so full now. I feel um, so thankful and so humbled by, by uh, the joy and the f complete, you know, the completeness that uh, he makes me feel. And um, really, none of it would have been possible without Firoza. Uh, we had a lot of trouble uh, having a child, trying to have a child. Wait for 10 years more. <laughs> And, um, and I really didn't think it would be possible to uh, have a baby. And then, of course, angelically, Firoza appeared and found this way for us. So there, is no, there are no words to thank her. Uh, and as Farah said, you know, we wake up every morning um, blessing her and thanking her. And uh, this center is going to be that place of hope for so many parents who want to have children. Uh, we thank you, Firoza. We thank Jaslok Hospital for bringing it to Mumbai, to give, for giving us a center like this. And I think you said international, so I'm assuming you're going to spread your wings outside of uh, India. Um, 
Firoza has done this selflessly for so many years, whether it's working in Kashmir, uh, working for poor women in India, in Bombay. She has done it with the love and passion of someone who does it as a vocation and not a profession. And uh, I think she deliver, deserves a really not just a, a, like a standing ovation for the work she's done. Really. You know, uh, <clears throat> uh, of course, Azad was born because of Firoza and her uh, and her help that she brought in. But uh, my relationship with Jaslok is even older than that because both my children, earlier children, Junaid and Ira, were both born in Jaslok Hospital uh, with Dr. Mansukani. So I'm missing her today. I wish she was here. <laughs> Uh, but uh, just to complete, I think we'd both like to wish uh, uh, Just Lok Fertile Tree all the very best. And once again, we thank Firoza and uh, Just Lok for bringing such joy into our lives and, and offering the same joy to so many people. Thank you so much and all the very best. Thank you. You know, there's one more thing I want to say. I want to talk about Tushar. I think, Tushar, what you've done is really amazing. Uh, the... You know, the courage that you've shown, the dignity that you've shown, the grace that you've shown is, is really something that will affect a lot of people in a very positive way and really, uh, again, in your own actions, you'll bring a joy to a lot of people's lives. Thank you. Yeah.